Today we will understand that artists use lines and colors to convey mood and action, describe expressive qualities of lines and color in artworks, and create a landscape drawing that suggests motion. The materials we'll need are a 12 by 18 sheet of paper and crayons. Sometimes we appreciate the calm, still beauty of nature. At other times, we find excitement and beauty in a rugged, rocky landscape or jagged mountain peaks. Today, we'll view and draw pictures of landscapes that seem active. Some landscapes have so many curving lines that they almost seem to move. Today, we'll look at some of these rolling landscapes. You'll learn to draw lines that show motion. Lines can show motion. Lines can give you feelings of motion. How do the lines move across the sky in Vincent van Gogh's The Starry Night? What motions do you see and feel? One night, Vincent van Gogh saw the scene through a window and had to paint it. The brushstrokes in his artwork swirl around the stars and the moon to make our eyes move through the artwork and follow the lines. What lines help you see motion in Marie Steve Leming's house at Chateau? Today, you will draw lines with crayons to show a landscape that has a lot of motion. Imagine a landscape with curving lines and rolling hills. Will you draw your landscape wide or tall? Will you show more land or more sky? Where will your land and sky meet on the paper? Where will you draw the most curved lines to show motion? Fill your whole paper with color. 